Oh, hi. Welcome back to John Deere B Tractor Restoration. It's just a short video, this one. Um, I want to do it because um, I'm sick of these, uh, these fuel bowls lying around on my workbench, risking getting broken. Um, now, <clears throat> one of the problems with these fuel bowls, certainly the original ones like this, this is an original off a, off a Model B, is that um, these taps are prone to, um, to wear and they never really turn, turn the fuel off particularly well. Uh, I've tried various methods of getting them to reseal but they're never, they're never very effective. Basically when you turn the tap, this tap here like that, you're lining up a hole in a shaft and so when the hole is obviously lined up it allows the fuel down through from the tank into the bowl and then you turn it off actually that was turned off um, when you turn it off um, it stops the fuel but as I say if they get worn 70 years worth of wear and tear and um, takes their toll <clears throat> and so what I've started doing now now you can you can still buy this as an aftermarket um, reproduction but I've seen them and, and they still use this type of tap inside. Now, uh, to be fair, I haven't tried one and they might be a lot better, but I suspect they probably aren't really. And so what I do is that I, um, I buy this more modern type version where it has a proper tap on it. Um, and the idea is that uh, obviously this screws out as a tap would on a thread and then when you turn tighten it back in you're tightening the um, tightening it back in against a seat and effectively as you tighter you get the tap it turns the fuel off and won't leak but the problem you have with them is that the inlet is offset to the side Whereas on the original, the inlet's more or less central with the main um, unit. On these ones, the inlet's offset. And so when you buy them, they recommend that you buy a... Um, obviously, you've got to buy some sort of uh, fitting, which screws into, the, into this end here. And then you screw your three-way valve as this is an all fuel tractor, this is what we're using, a three-way valve on and it, and it screws onto the, onto the fitting. But the problem with it is, is everything, when you screw this onto the bottom of the tank, put this on with this um, fitting, everything's pushed out. So you have an interference with the side of your hood because you can't get this pushed right in. And so my method of getting around this, and. I, I know uh, I bang on about the lathe and that, but I make a, um, a stepped uh, fitting. And if you can see there, it's, I make it so it screws flush into the body of the three-way valve. And then you screw it flush into the, um, into the body of the, uh, of the, um, of the glass ball housing and therefore it brings everything back in tight up too and you because with this um, fitting that you, you buy after market thing because obviously it has a, a kernel bit in the middle um, for your spanner it just keeps everything offset and so it moves this away so the idea is with my system is it brings it all back into line and therefore it does away with the interference of the three-way on the side of the hood um, within millimeters anyway within millimeters I have them on two tractors and you can't tell the difference but the benefit of it is as I say you end up with a much better tap for foot turning the fuel off on the main tank that's what the benefit of it all is um, so yeah so if you can get somebody or you make it yourself this stepped little fitting here. Um, come on, focus. That stepped little fitting. You will be able to use that 
more improved um, a more improved fuel bowl and it does away with this poorer type of tap system that um, that you find on the originals now I know I keep going on about I want it original I want it original but at the end of the day there are things that you need to just maybe just upgrade a bit and also there's nothing worse than having fuel dripping on your new um, on your new paintwork you know fuel is the worst killer of all the paintwork it really is it just makes a mark and sours everything and so yes yeah, so that's what I do um, work a treat work a th all no problems if you're interested in the sizes the um, the main body I tap with a quarter now I, I obviously I'm using BSP pipe fittings but it's a quarter um, for the main body and on the um, on the body on the um, housing on the glass bowl it's an eighth eighth BSP it's eighth BSP by 28 and that one is um, quarter BSP by 19 19 meaning teeth per inch um, 28 meaning teeth per, teeth per inch there so yeah so that's what we do um, another thing I find with these three-way valves is this is an original it's um, it's a good solid old valve it was quite it's, it's a little bit worn inside and yeah they don't turn off that brilliantly but hence why you've got a decent tap here and I also put a, an inline tap on the fuel pipe from the, um, the starting tank um, which I haven't got one at the moment but I will be getting one soon and so you can really turn all the fuel off and you don't get any dripping onto anything obviously off the carburetor if you leave the um, you always want to leave the uh, the drain valve open on your carburetor for fear, if not you have that fear of fuel ending up into the engine now I have a tip with these how to make these a seal a little bit better I would say it works through depending on how worn it is inside the three-way um, it works 50% of the time maybe 50% of the time but what I do is I get a little bit of um, the finest valve grinding paste that I have and I put a little bit round the um, obviously there's a taper inside this body and I put the two put some on the um, on the shaft tapered end of the shaft and then I put them together and I just gently bind it screw it backwards and forwards and it just takes it just smooths everything out again inside the body both on the uh, taper and on the uh, on the body face as I say it works 50% of the time to some extent and it's not brilliant but it's 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 not bad it does um, to some extent it works so yeah but now that's what I do I do with those um, you'll see it when it's on the tank how much how it works uh, but I just wanted to make that video because uh, I'm sick of these two glass bowls sitting on my bench with fear of getting them broken <laughs> okay thank you